Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, 2021 is over. Uh, this is the 4th of January that I'm filming this today. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit late. I'm a little bit behind on my videos at the moment, but I've got quite a bit to do with hubby. Um, he's not having such a good time. He's still home. We've had... Uh, new year together so yeah let's uh, kick this one down we'll have a quick review of it first and a little bit of a chat while i get all my drills put away so um hmm it i think it sums up 2021 in the fact that you can't really read it <laughs> um and it's a little bit confusing because you can't read it although you can try and make out what it says so yeah i think it just sums up the rules and everything and how everybody was interpreting them differently and everything so yeah i've decided i'm not going to change the writing on it uh, as you can see like zoom here is absolutely brilliant you can read that uh, you can read the red lettering the binge watching that really stands out but things like this wash your hands um, because of the two-tone grey and then the pink, we've lost the clarity on it. Uh, this says, what day is it? I think you can read the day, but you can't read... Well, you can sort of make it out. I'm still not quite sure what that says. It's curbside something. I'll have to go back and have a look at the original picture. Uh, I think that's clean something. Um, this is paper. So, I I'm not sure what that says. I think that's home, possibly exercise. You can sort of, I mean, game night and protect works, you know, but some of them, uh, I think that says FaceTime. I think that says stay home. I think that says survive the toilet paper shortage. Um. Mm. I've no idea what, the, I don't know whether that's words or not, actually. Again, curbside something, I'm just not quite sure what it says. But yeah, it was fun to do. It was my advent. Okay. It took me the 24 days. I did finish it off on Christmas Eve. Um, I did have the blip in the middle because hubby went into hospital um, and wasn't very well. So things got a little bit muddled. wasn't a great way, way to uh, run up to Christmas this year. But I think that's just the way things go. Um, I think the little things sort of like stand out. I mean, you can probably tell that this is an iPhone. Um, that's a mask there. We've got people. We've got watching telly. So I think you've been watching telly. I think we're washing our hands there. Um, I think that's keeping you two metres distance there. I think this is working from home. Um, quite a bit of toilet paper. <laughs> tests not quite sure but anyway i just thought it was a bit of fun um i did do my like round one last year which did say coronavirus on it and i did that one with like all the different things on so i thought this year i would do this one um as my advent and it was rebecca admore zest it was her third year of doing um, an advent paint along and it was my second year with Rebecca doing that so yeah it was great it was lovely seeing everybody else's and um, I didn't put the picture on the Facebook group as a whole as to what it was so I think it kept a few people guessing as to what I was actually working on what, what it was going to be and um, I hope they weren't disappointed when they saw what it was uh, the drills were lovely um, it was poured glue, 40 by 50, so it went down really, really well. And, yeah, I mean, on the whole, I did enjoy doing it. I do find, though, if you are doing uh, paintings, particularly with a white background, and you're doing it in sections, you can end up getting lines, if you're not careful, where you're doing each section. And I think you can do that when there is a lighter background. So I sort of... As I was doing each section, I did move the drills a little bit 
uh, to make sure that I wasn't getting like the gaps and the definitive line so you could see which part I did. But on the whole, I think that's turned out quite well. Not sure whether I'm going to frame it or not or whether it will just go in my folder. Um, I don't think it's something that I particularly want to remember and put on my wall. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, that just summed up 2021. My phone just decided to switch itself off for no apparent reason. And for one awful minute, I thought I'd just been wittering away for ages and uh, it not been recording. But anyway, it was. So let's put this canvas out of the way and we'll get these drills put away. Oh, dear. That's just typical 2021, isn't it? <laughs> oh, at least we're in 2022 now. I've got all my uh, little cover sheets left and they have still got the numbers on. These numbers actually stayed stuck to this set uh, cover sheet. So oh, that was pretty good. Quite impressed with that. So yeah, I'm going to keep all those, possibly use them on a painting again next year. So I've got all 24. So I'll pop those to one side for now and they can go in my cover sheets. If you remember, yeah, I think this has been a bit of a disaster from start to finish. I did actually uh, copy the uh, key code twice so <laughs> I'll put that um, with all the other bits and keep that I think see how we go with that so we have 24 colours to put away and yeah we've got plenty of the white background left look they certainly gave us plenty of that so yeah well it's cream it's I think it was 3865 yeah 3865 it's the creamy colour rather than the white colour. Um, I think on that painting, the white would have just been far too stark. So let's start off with box number one for our drills. I feel like it's ages since I've put any drills away. Goodness me. Really feels like ages. But okay. These do actually need sorting out. Some of the boxes have got a little bit full. Um, I put a link down below if you want to know how to set this storage up and how to keep it going and it's Rebecca Admore Zest used to be for kids at 147 and um, basically what it is for whether you've got round or square drills I keep them all in the same boxes Um, I have a little bag or a grip, grip seal bag these are the extra strong ones that uh, extra thick ones that stand up on their own so you don't need the card in the background to help them stand just saves them all going underneath and getting lost and stuck and everything um and i have squares on the square square stickers square stickers on the square my mouth's not working now either this isn't going to be brilliant, I have to say. Who said I was a professional? Never me. <laughs> uh, and round stickers on the rounds. It does sort of help me. Sometimes I put them in the wrong bags. But yeah, so I have for every uh, DMC number, I do have a bag already here. So as I want to put these away, all my uh, little drills, now all up, as I want to put them away, then there is a bag already there for me to put them away. It just makes it quicker. So what's our first number that we're going to start with? Is 315. Let me grab a tray as well, because you know what spill is is like. Okay, we'll start with a big tray. Right, so 315. Hope uh, everybody's doing okay and that you've had a pretty good Christmas and New Year and that it's treating you well. Is that the rounds? Yeah, these are all rounds. Our new year was quiet. We didn't get off to a brilliant start. Um, Hubby was feeling a little bit under the weather again. Um, he is still on tablets and things from the hospital. And we have got lots of uh, appointments coming up in the new year. Ooh, we've got, oh, well, that was good. <laughs> the one that was stuck in the bottom has just disappeared. Um, so, yeah, we've got uh, still quite a ways to go with him with his health. But at least he was here. Um, he tried to make it to midnight, but unfortunately he didn't. I did have one of my very good friends staying over with us. Um, she has spent most New Year's with us since we've known her. So, uh, yes, yeah, she came along and we saw the New Year in. Went and stood outside and listened to uh, the fireworks going off. And uh, we are, the uh, city along from us, Hull, does have um, a big docks. So it used to be a big fishing industry. So there's quite a lot of ships um, still around. And we went and you could just about hear the foghorns. 
um, over the fireworks. The ships, it's a tradition that all the fishing ships and all the vessels that were in harbour all used to sound their horns at midnight as well before everybody had all these fireworks and things. So yeah, that was quite nice to hear. Uh, Millie had already gone to bed with hubby. That's Millie, our little furry dog. She decided that she wasn't staying up either. If uh, hubby was going to bed, she was going to bed. So that was that. And uh, yes, it was a quiet new year. We didn't even drink any alcohol because uh, I'm always on watch. If hubby's not feeling brilliant, I don't feel as though I can drink anything just in case I have to get him in the car and take him to hospital um, or, you know, go and get some medication or something. So I tend not to, mind you, we've never really been big drinkers anyway. Um, when we first met, we were both working in shops and the hours that you worked, I mean, it was news agency work, which is, you know, paper deliveries. And we used to have to be at the shops at like five o'clock in the morning. Um, so when you happen to get up early, you tend not to go out drinking or have alcohol because you're frightened to death you're going to miss your alarm. <laughs> Uh, you do get used to it. How I did it, uh, thinking back now, how I actually managed to get up every day to be at work for five o'clock, half past five. I will never know. Uh, getting up at like half six, seven o'clock now just about kills me. You know, it's uh, I'm not a morning person. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it is what it is. I, we'd love to have gone out drinking with our friends and everything, but... It's just what job you do, you know, you, you just can't always do that, unfortunately. So that's just the way we were. Um, and then when we got days off and things, we I tried to get the same days off. Um, and we tended to just have days off when we had the children, the, my stepchildren. Um, and they used to come weekends. We used to go pick them up on a Friday night and... Uh, take them back on a Sunday night to the mums and they came in school holidays so we couldn't go out drinking then either because you know it was a bit silly if we were paying for a babysitter <laughs> so yeah and to be honest all our spare cash went on the uh, kids anyway you know going out and having fun with them rather than going out drinking off for meals and stuff so it's just a habit you get into um you know we've never been into sports and things because we've never been able to watch football matches we've mainly worked saturdays and sundays so you know you just don't go to football matches or you know sports events and things it's just uh, how things go unfortunately now that means that like hubby um is sort of like stuck watching television an awful lot he hasn't got any hobbies because he's never had time for any hobbies with work so it's a little bit sad that, you know, I try to get him, I've tried to get him diamond painting, but he's not having any of it. Um, I've tried getting him doing jigsaws. Gosh, I can't read that at all. Is that 469? I think that's 469. Um, and, you know, he's just, he's very sad at the moment. Uh, you know, he, I mean, it's understandable. He's gone from working in busy stores um, with lots of people to talk to and lots of fun and uh, now he's just stuck at home with me and Millie <laughs> I'll be the best one in the world um, you know there's only so much you can talk about when you're with somebody all the time uh, yeah so we've got our favourite TV shows that we sort of sit down and watch together and uh, he's asleep at the moment so that's why I've nipped up to do some videoing uh, I've said to him, why don't you come in on my videos? I'll sit and listen to me chat on my videos. And, well, what do I do that for? <laughs> so, you know, I've said quite happily I'll sit downstairs with him and um, do my videos. But no, he's, he's not really wanting to. So, But we'll get there. You know, it's early days. I mean, gosh, you know, well, just over two years ago, our lives were completely different. We were both out working full time, you know. And uh, now we're not so we'll see but I've got my diamond painting and I'm thankful for that and the last year has been wonderful for me with my diamond painting um, other than the sadness with hubby I've thoroughly enjoyed you know coming on having a chat to uh, everybody here um, my aim I think I've said before was in my first year uh, I celebrated my first year 
just before Christmas. I'm sorry there wasn't much of a fanfare for it. My first um, diamond painting video, that is. Went up just before Christmas 2020. Yeah, 2020. And uh, I was going to do lots of things and celebrations and all that. And unfortunately, Hubby went in hospital. So that's all gone by the wayside at the moment. But I have got plans and I have got things coming up. So watch this space. Um, oh, 666. I like that colour. Yeah, so my, my plan... 6.50. Oh, there it is. 6.66. Six, six. I was just thinking, where's it gone? Don't tell me 6.66 has disappeared. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, my uh, aim when I first started, and I thought, oh, who's going to want to watch me? Who's going to want to join in with me? But then I thought, well, maybe I've got some, you know, tips and tricks I can pass on. Maybe people will want to just uh, listen to me waffle on a little bit and uh, it will do me good if nothing else I've got somebody uh, else to talk to <laughs> saves talking to the dog <laughs> so I started my YouTube channel and I can remember sort of like I think this time last year the beginning of January last year I think I had seven subscribers <laughs> And I didn't tell anybody that I was doing it. I didn't tell any friends or anybody that I was doing it because I was a bit embarrassed. Oops. Just let me get box two out. I finished in box one. Kitting down very nicely. So, yeah, I didn't really uh, tell anybody. I was like a bit embarrassed about, oh, you know, it, I'm doing a YouTube channel. And then I thought, oh, what the heck? And uh, I sort of like spread the word. I put it on my Facebook page. Um, and yeah, it's just gone from there really. And I'm 300 and odd now subscribers, which I'm so grateful to everybody that's subscribed and comes along and listens to me. And I say the messages for hubby of Christmas were, you know, they really meant a lot. It was lovely. I feel like we're getting a little bit of a community. And I've got some really good friends now um that are diamond painters as well which always helps because you know if somebody's not a diamond painter or not a crafter they don't understand the excitement of when you get that new canvas with all those lovely drills and you go open it up and you just think wow anybody else would just think well that's like a, a picture with a bit of sticky on it and you're gonna put, stick little plastic bits on it <laughs> and they just don't get it so, yeah, it's nice to have diamond painting friends and we can all share tips and tricks and see where everybody else has got bargains from and encourage each other to spend money. <gasps> um, yeah, um, this year I'm hoping to, you know, increase again, keep on increasing. I'm not going to put a time limit. I mean, you do start, once you get up to a thousand subscribers, which is like the golden egg, as it were, in YouTube, then um, you can start to getting paid for your adverts and you can monetize your channel, as they call it. So you do start getting a little tiny bit back um, for when you make your videos, you, you start getting the adverts and things on the videos. Um, so, yeah, that's like the golden egg as it were i mean at the moment sort of like getting 300 ish a year that means like within three years i'll maybe get up to a thousand hopefully <laughs> but that's not why i'm doing it that's you know obviously extra money is always nice to everybody even millionaires want more don't they so but no i just want to do it for the enjoyment of it i love diamond painting gosh that's a really different color look to that one you do find that you get different dye lots for different companies um, and it's a case of I just put them all in the same one and if I do run out of a colour or I do need a colour then I will just dig out the colour that's closest to and that I need. Um, my daughter and my stepdaughter uh, did a, a great big canvas, um, I think it was the Three Witches from Hocus Pocus, there's a Hocus Pocus too coming out, yay! And uh, she'd run out of a colour, so I just sent her a li the little bag with all the different colours in so she could pick out which ones she needed. 
um, that then she just let me have back what she had left. So, you know, it's uh, always worth having the spares. It's quicker to uh, just dip into your own spares than it is to have to wait for the company to either send you some more or to buy some more from somewhere else. And if you're a spiller like me, you tend to find that uh, you can lose quite a few diamonds. Um, I did actually hoover down the side of the settee over Christmas. Oh my goodness. If you could have seen the amount of diamonds, I could probably have done three paintings with the amount of diamonds that were down the arm of the settee. <laughs> There was no money. Uh, mind you, we, do, we tend not to use money much anymore. It always seems to be cards. Um, there was a bit of fluff. There was an odd bit of dog biscuit down there. But it was mainly diamond painting uh, gems, drills. And uh, yeah, so they all went up the hoover. <laughs> and although I was tempted to look through them and see if there was any of the bigger gems the special gems i thought nope nope throw them away throw them away liz let them go so that's well i, I don't do new year resolutions uh, do you have any resolutions i, I don't let's say we've never really celebrated uh, new year and um, let's say going back to working in the shops um quite often one or the other of us was working new year's day so we'd maybe stay up till midnight and maybe have an odd drink but we've never really had big celebrations um because we always had the children on christmas night and then on boxing day because we'd had that time off then we couldn't have new year off as well so you know it was swings and roundabouts but yeah i've never been a big one for res resolutions uh i think I would probably break them all anyway. I think the biggest uh, lie I ever told myself, I would buy a diary every year and keep a diary <laughs> and write in it every day. And I don't think I ever got past the end of January. <laughs> so one bit, like when I was a lot, lot younger, I think I was still living at home with uh, my mum and dad. And uh, yeah, I had um, about five or six diaries that all had something written in them up round in about in January and then an odd thing throughout the year and then that was about it because I think I'd got to a point where I thought oh I'll forget about the last few months and I'll start it again and then maybe be a little bit in the middle <laughs> so I never did get uh, a diary done um but yeah I, w I was never the best at keeping up with things like that right nine four five oh dear so yeah but no this year um i am going to try and keep things a little bit more organized uh keep my craft room tidy <laughs> oh that will be fun <laughs> um get some of the paintings done or a lot of the paintings done that i have um maybe give some away sell some whatever that I've got that I think no I'm never really going to get around to doing that one uh, when I bought it at the time I thought yay that looks really good and now I look at it again I think maybe mm. so yeah I have got a lot of diamond paintings at the moment and I've got a lot more coming as well I've got a lot of unboxings to do this uh, month so yeah keep watching this space you'd be amazed at some of the things I've bought <laughs> I'm amazed at some of the things I've bought and uh, I want to try and get Hubby out a lot more. Um, oh, we're into the three threes now, so we're into box three. Bear with me a second. Okay, box three is my really messy one because it's got all my white and things at the end there that need sorting out. So this one is desperately in need of sorting. And we want three, three, five, four. I have to read these really carefully. I've said before, I, I just don't think my brain can cope. Um, oh, gosh, there's a lot of different colours in that one as well, look. And then I'm adding this one to it. I don't think my co brain can cope with four numbers. I seem to get three O's and three threes and uh, three. I just get them muddled up. I have to really look carefully, otherwise I end up putting things in the wrong one. Three, three, five, four. These are really tight in this side. I'm going to have to sort these out. So, yeah, this is part of my getting organised. Um, you know, I, I did think maybe I wouldn't carry on my YouTube channel after a year. You know, give it a year, see how we go. 
uh, well, you start off and you think, oh, I'll give it a month, see how it goes. And then I started really enjoying it, doing it. And uh, yeah, then I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll give it a year, see how we're going a year, see whether it's worth my time. And it is. I mean, these are things that I've got to do anyway, kitting up and kitting down. Um, so, you know, videoing them and talking to you, other than the talking bit, I possibly wouldn't be sat talking to myself. Although then again, maybe I would. I don't know. <laughs> uh, is that three, six, eight, nine? Gosh, look at these numbers. They're uh, quite close together. Yeah, that's three, six, eight, nine. And I've got new glasses as well. What can I say? I've got terrible eyesight. And three, six, eight, nine. You see, I think it's because the three sixes jump so much. The three thousands jump so much. Because we've got three six hundred there. If you can see that there. That says three six hundred. So you then go sort of like and it goes from three six oh nine to three six eight five and you feel like you've missed something somewhere. And then three six eight nine I've got right over here. So I think that doesn't help either. But it's just the way that uh, DMC have numbered their uh, colours and how they do their colours. I think they've done it so that if they add extra colours, they've got plenty of room for the numbers in between, as it were. Um, either that or it's just somebody's joke just to keep everybody confused. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so where are we now? That one's 3705. You see, that's a little bit easier. The sevens stand out a little bit more for me. So, yeah, so we go from 3.6 and then we go into the 3.700s. So, yeah, there's lots of big gaps in these. And, uh, yeah, I do always try and just double check that the colour is pretty similar to what I've already got and that I'm not putting a green in with a blue. Although, never say never, you know me, I can do anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, back to uh, YouTube. So, yeah, I'm here for at least another year, um, hopefully longer. And uh, the other, obviously, uh, the other things that I do is the unboxings. And I do like to do unboxings and show you my... Well, I love showing you what I've bought in the shops. That's great fun. Um, but I love opening a package and sharing my excitement and uh, what I think about things with you. Because then I, I get feedback and things from other people. And uh, yeah, I mean, if I opened that pack, some of the packages in front of that uh, hubby, um, it'd probably go, and, yeah. Mm. So yeah, it's nice to think that there's somebody out there going, oh, that looks nice. Oh, the same as I am. <laughs> well, maybe not quite the same as I am, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we're getting to the end of this one now. I think 3865 is going to have to go somewhere separate because it's certainly not going to fit in a bag. 3755 is there. Oh, goodness me, there's lots of different ones in this one. Okay, so let's get these put away. 3755. If there is anything you would like to see on my channel, you would like me to do in the next year do let me have uh, well drop me a little message in the um, comments down below i'm always open to suggestions i've got a few as i say i've got a few ideas of my own i've got my hedgehog time comparison squares versus rounds gosh three seven six six uh, to finish off and um, i'm halfway through on that one but that oh gosh that's never the same one Oh, it's six eight. That's why. Oh, gosh, it's a good job I've got that colour in there. Otherwise, I'd have been putting that in the wrong one. Mind you, to be fair, if I did, I would just leave them and sort them out uh, when I get him to need the colour. <laughs> okay, three seven six eight. Yeah. So yeah, I've got my hedgehog comparison to finish off. That one will get done. Um, I have done the special drill of that one as well and timed that one so I can just give you um, the timings of how the different is in time that it's taking me. 3801 and obviously do a comparison. Um, I know there's quite a few comparisons out there square versus round but I'll give you my take on it. 
uh, I do think with YouTube that, you know, even though there's a lot of creators out there and there's a lot of new creators out there, I know I'm uh, subscribing to an awful lot of people, I'm running out of time to be able to watch all the videos, but everybody comes at it from a different angle. Everybody says different things, has different viewpoints. So there's room for everybody out there. You know, it's not necessarily copying because you're doing the same as somebody else. It just means that you're doing, okay, something, well, you are doing something the same as somebody else, but you're doing your take on it. You're doing your thoughts and feelings. We're all different people, so we all have different ways of looking at things. I think those will go in here, and then I'm going to have to put that little tub in a whole different bag. I think you can see there, look, my B5200s, that's my squares. I've got a big bag of those. They look totally different. Gosh, even the white slip, you wouldn't think that things like white would have so many different shades in them, but that's like a real bluish white, and this is like a real stark white, different but they are actually B5200s, they are the same colour, even if they don't look it in the bag. <laughs> so yeah, that's the bit that uh, I really need to get sorted out in this one. And I've taken all my decorations down, so the house looks really bare now. What is that? Ooh, hang on, there's something in here. Oh, it's just a bit of black plastic. For one awful minute, I thought it was a squished fly, and I'm not having a squished fly in my drills i'm just going to pick that out and throw that away because i'll look at it again next time and think oh there's a squished fly and i can't be doing with that so yeah that's the 3865 we'll take this label off here i think i had three or four bottles of this color for the background so we got down to sort of one and a half but uh, yeah there's a lot left there let me find a bag we must have a bag somewhere Got a little bag of baggies. Ooh, these aren't very good ones. These are very thin. I'll have to be transferring them over when I uh, get my sorting out done. Gosh, I sorted all my specials out as well. So, uh, Well, I haven't fully sorted them all out. I've got all the ones from Christmas put away from all my special drill paintings and projects from Christmas. So they are all put in the right places to be organised. And I'm just going to put that little thing on there so that we know that that's the 3865 and that that needs sorting out. And then that case is all done. They need putting away. I think I'll have to get a paper clip for those so I don't lose them because they're very, very slippy. And that wants to go in my logbook when I chop my painting up. Put my tray out the way, put my the box three back on the shelf. Okay, and that's the case all up and running and ready to go on the next one. So, I'll just give you a final look at this 2021 painting and we'll say bye bye 2021 and hello 2022. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat with me. If you have, give me a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see what my next paintings are and unboxings, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner here and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So thanks everybody for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.